What is good, my video game nation? It's your boy David. Um, it's your boy the Tatted Monk back with another video. So apparently there has been a rumor leak, and by Jesse Collins and the website called Twin Galaxy, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite shall be getting an uncanny edition. Now this is very good news, but apparently it's a rumor. So sometimes you have to remember to take rumors as a grain of salt. A grain of salt. So let's go over and go over this. So yes, we understand that Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite will be a, get a re-release, but Capcom has done things like this in the past. Now, supposedly this announcement was supposed to be rumored to be announced at EVO 2018 next month after the grand finals of Street Fighter V. And also it's stated here that Street Fighter V will also be getting a reveal trailer for G, which is of course we know he was going to come into the game, and C, uh, Crimson Viper, and Saddam. And I'm like, okay, well... Saddam was a highly requested character and Crimson Viper she was in the story so there could be a possible chance that they could be added free DLC content I'm not sure how will that work but we're gonna have to wait and see now reading this article sent by unanimous the game will be called Marvel vs. Capcom The Uncanny Edition. The game, Capcom has 75% creative control and it was Capcom that took the brunt of the loss. The This creative controls extend the art style of the game, graphics, music, and even the roster. Marvel approached Capcom for an update to advertise the Avengers 4 and Capcom said they would but only if X-Men characters were in the roster on the Marvel side. <clears throat> so the game is going to extend longer development cycle than Infinite, of course. And it's going to be released in a quarter one in 2019. So it's like, what, February, March? More, more likely it gives them enough time to kind of pull things together. And here we are. It says here that the Street Fighter V Grand Finals will include G, Viper, and Saddam will be released before Street Fighter V Top 8 on EVO Sunday. We will see about that. Now, going over the characters, the characters will also include on the Marvel side Wolverine, Magneto, Doctor Doom, Deadpool, Gambit, Psylocke, Sentinel, Storm, Shuma Garath, Cable, Doc Ock, Super Scroll, and the Juggernaut. For the Marvel side. And with the Capcom side. We're looking at Akuma. Ruby Hart. Amingo. Jill. From Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Virgil. Wesker. Leon. Jin. Captain Commando. Jean. Felicia. Asura. Beautiful Joe. And Am Amaterasu. That, that's a dream come true. But we're going to have to wait and see. Because this is like a every fighter game's dream come true now if we look here there was a rumor for an uncanny edition previously in 2012 and this was going to be a 15 dollars digital copy dlc which should include mega man servbot ant-man and cyclops but guess what that never happened but taking that grand assault we all know that marvel vs. capcom was to be revived at some point Meaning that maybe we could have gotten the X-Men characters. Maybe we could have gotten, you know, the, the graphics would have been fixed up. The art style of the characters. It would happen. But apparently, um, Fox owning X-Men characters and Fantastic Four characters were just movie rights. Had nothing to do with the video game rights. So, there was plan as DLC. But Marvel had to take the down... Um, Capcom and Marvel had to take the downfall because... They thought they wanted to do something different this year with excluding the X-Men, but apparently they said, even though we're going to exclude the X-Men characters, we're definitely going to try to bring them in the game and have some kind of a revive, or we're going to try to go somewhere different, see where it goes without putting X-Men. Maybe we can make a huge market for it. Well, that never happened, and it never led to anything good. It have not has not led anything good. So they said that instead of in the main roster, they're going to go ahead and put them as DLC. But the X-Men, let's just get one thing straight here. X-Men 
Whereas X-Men was the one who created this franchise. Remember, do not forget Children of the Atom, made by Capcom and Marvel. The very first game that were introduced before Marvel vs. Capcom, Clash of Heroes. So they need to know and remember that X-Men was the one who opened the book, who published it, made the franchise from start, and they're going to exclude the X-Men. You just got to know that for fan fans of the game you just can't be making those kind of approaches honestly but it's just that's how it's gonna be hopefully this rumor is true i hopefully to god but you know shout outs to apple jacks and myself the tatted monk let me guys let you guys know <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this leak is it true is it not I mean, could it actually lead to something? Um, I'm sure Marvel was going to release something, but October was supposed to be the shutdown date. But we could be surprised with an uncanny edition, and I pray to God that it happens. Do I believe it's 100% true? I hope so. That's all I got to say. Because I like this roster idea with the graphics upgrade, the art style, the music, and especially the roster. I get to see Wolverine and Juggernaut, and I hope it happens. Don't play with my emotions. We hope that it's real.